All right, Kenya's Mama War veterans were this morning witness to a historic moment that saw the inauguration of the Mau Mau Monument at Nairobi's Uhuru Park. The inauguration is a culmination of a ruling issued by a British court in June 2013 that saw the veterans benefit from a 2.7 billion shilling compensation. But as KTN's Timothy Otina reports, behind the glamour surrounding the event, some veterans still appeared to hold reservations as to how the process of compensation has been handled by the government. It's just a few minutes before noon and the Nairobi sun is unrelenting. But perhaps even more unrelenting is the spirit of the near 300 Kenyan war veterans present at the Freedom Corner at Nairobi's Uhuru Park. You see, the aged Kenyans have been through it all. Besides, they fought for the freedom of the country and so they patiently sit as they await to see the unveiling of a structure that will represent their struggle. A struggle they began against the British administration during the colonial days. But perhaps none is more anxious than 95-year-old Ngugi Mudhoike. He proudly holds up the picture of the man he fought so hard to see lead the country back then. Mudhoike is part of a group of 5,000 veterans who received compensation from the British government over mistreatment by the British soldiers during the state of emergency declared in 1952. <laughs> Oh, what you are now qua? How are the Pigania Huru? The Kua Moja Nikuana to our Moyoango Nipe Akinya Kinyata. The Secretary General of the Mao Mao War Veterans Association, Gitu Wakahengeri, led the fight from the British courts to have the men and women honored. Sisi Kwajasholetu Kwangubu Zetu Zakili. Kwa mbubu zetu za mikono, tulipigania uhuru huu mpaka ukaja sasa tunafrahia uhuru. The Maumo story is a story of atrocity and excess. A dirty war from which no one emerged with much pride and certainly no glory. It is an uncomfortable history. But it is a history that needs to be told. And as we are doing today, a history that needs to be dealt with. The ruling compelling the UK government to pay 2.7 billion to the veterans, as well as issue a statement of regret for atrocities caused, also require that a monument be erected in their honor. One, two, three. Aye. Aye. The monument represents the figure of a Kenyan woman giving a Mau Mau warrior food during the struggle and was constructed at a cost of nearly 15 million Kenya shillings. The hero. You, you. The hero. Okay. This even as issues of improper compensation dogged the event as some veterans claimed not all of them had received their dues. How are we to find your cousin Yote Akwondo Muzungu Hapa? There is no compensation that they can be given. Sisi tukiotaka sirikali hii, ijue watu hawa alipigania uhuru, tutaweza kuwasaidia. The monument will now stand as a recognition of history and a symbol of reconciliation meant to act as a peace offering that will see the Britain and Kenyan governments bury the hatchet as far as colonial mistreatment is concerned. And so now the scramble to get a glimpse of a historic monument is on here for the Mau Mau veterans at the Uhuru Park grounds as they acknowledge a bitter past between both Kenya and Britain and hope that this monument will enable them to draw a line that will help them forge forward as a people reconciled with a bitter past. Timothy Otieno, KTN, Uhuru Park, Nairobi.